Hello and welcome to today's video. I apologize if my glasses kind of blind you a little bit, but I cannot see. So today we have a quick shop my stash for the month of March. I think I said this in the video, but let me know what items you're putting in your monthly makeup basket and let's go ahead and get into the footage. Okay, to start out on top, I've separated my items into, these are things that I'm gonna put back. This back here is my mound of Project Pan items. If that's not intimidating, I don't know what is. I haven't really seen it like that before. So that's a lot. But yeah, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna go ahead and put items back as we open drawers, but just kind of an oversight. This, these are kind of the items that I'm gonna be talking about. There are two here that I did wanna mention. I am not putting these back because I don't rotate out mascaras. I use them until they're all gone. But I did wanna mention that I just got these out last month, I think, and, or this one was in from January, but this one I pulled in last month in February. And it's not my favorite formula, but oh my goodness, if this component isn't like one of the nicest, most luxurious luxurious feeling components I've ever had in my life like it's just so heavy and there's a part of me that likes it more because of how fancy it feels even though I know that the formula really isn't that spectacular but I wanted to mention this that um, even though it's not my favorite it is such a nice packaging kind of thing that I'm really actually enjoying it I feel so fancy so I did want to mention that all right moving into my first drawer I am going to be putting back this here, this is a Makeup Revolution like liquid highlight kind of thing in the shade Champagne. I pulled this last month to mix in with a primer that I'll talk about a little bit later. But for now, I am going to put this away. It was nice as a primer. I do think that I can put, I could probably pan this item in the future, both as like a liquid highlighter and also I think it would look so good as like a body highlight. So. Hopefully one day the weather will warm up here enough in Sweden for summer to happen. Maybe. I don't know. I'm starting to worry. <laughs> and we will try this out later on when the weather starts to warm up a little bit. For concealers, I did have these two pulled. This is a color corrector from the LA Girl line, and this is the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define. I'm not crazy about either of these, but they're not bad. So I will probably pan these one day, but for now, I think I want to trade them out for a Tarte Shape Tape, not this guy, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm not quite sure which one I should, I think I'm gonna grab the lighter one. This is Fair Light Neutral, and I'm gonna use it because honestly, I am a little bit pale now, so I'm gonna work on this one for a little bit. Okay, last month I was also using my Butter Blush from Physician's Formula, and this is in the shade Natural Glow. I love this. This is just, it doesn't, uh, like I said before in the last video, it doesn't deposit a lot of color. And as you can see, it's very, it honestly just gives a sheen. And I really love it. So I'm going to put that back for now because I think I gave it some good love. But And I need to focus on painting a different blush. But I really, really, really like that product. So I don't really need bronzer because I'm painting a bronzer. I don't need another blush because I'm I really want to hit pan on the blush so I think I'm going to focus on it for a full month. But what I would like to do is pull a highlight. This is ColourPop Guilty Pleasure. And I actually have not tried this yet. I've swatched it a couple times, but I'm hoping that maybe I will like it. Oh, it's so it's a little dark, so hopefully it won't it won't be too dark on me, but we'll try it out and that way I will get a feel for if it's something that I'm going to be able to use more in the summer or what, but this one is one that I, I, I kind of feel the need to just try it out finally. Okay, I pulled out that first uh, like container so that we can see the stuff in the back a little bit better. I am almost done with my e.l.f. powder here. This is like a blotting powder that I use, so I'm actually going to go ahead and pull a new blotting powder to use, and I think that because I have two of them, these are both products that I bought for blotting, but this one's so much bigger than this one that I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this one up first and then I'll be left with this one. So this one will be the next one that I focus on. I've used one of these up before in the past, so I know it's a good product and I know it will probably take me a good while to get through, but it will probably be my only one that I focus on for a little while. Another powder from my powder section that I need to work on is this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And you'll see in a second that I'm gonna pull a foundation that I feel like will finally work for this. I didn't really love the way this worked with my Lumi foundation, so I'm gonna work on this guy finally. It's been in my new Decade Project pan since January, and I really haven't used it that much. So this one is one I definitely wanna show some love now. I don't need any lip products, but primers, we definitely want to trade that. I was using, I tried this one with mixed in with this uh, highlight here and it worked really well for that. So I'm gonna put this back for now. And I, because I'm using a foundation this next month, the one I wanna use is a little bit more 
satin to matte kind of finish, I'm going to pull some illuminating primers. This one here is in a project pan, so it definitely needs to come out. But I also want to pull two new ones because I think it will be kind of fun to kind of battle out the illumination primers that I have in my collection. So this one here is the first light priming filter, and this one here is the backlight priming filter from Becca. And I have not opened either one of these, and so I really want to test them out this month. And then I also want to kind of compare them in my head. This is my current favorite in my collection, my favorite illuminating primer. So maybe it will be fun to see how they all compare to each other. Other. And then primer wise, I also always, always, always need a like pore minimizing primer. So I think what I'm going to do is grab this baby skin one here and just work it on it for a couple months. Probably keep it in more than a month, but for now this is the one I want to grab for. Okay, I pulled foundations up front so we can see them. I'm going to put this one away. Normally when I work on project pan items, I try to consistently reach for them at least a couple times a month, even if I'm tired of them. But for now, I really, 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 I, I pretty much ignored this for a whole month. So I'm going to switch these out. This one is also in my year long 20 and 2020 project pan. And I really want to work on this one. This one is a beautiful finish. It's more satin to matte. So which again, I'm going to use some of those illuminating primers with it. But this one is just a beefy, chunky packaging one. And I definitely want to finish it this year. So I'm going to put it in the rotation. And then I'm going to put this one back. This one was one that I put in last month, uh, kind of wondering, is this a product that I can make work? And I definitely think it is. I've used a lot of it too, so that might be coloring in my like judgment here. But when I use this much of a product, I don't know, let me know in the comments, am I alone in this? When I use this much of a product, even if it's not my favorite, I feel the need to keep it to finish it because I've already done so much work on it. So I'm gonna keep it for now and we're gonna just work on, I think that tart one for a bit. And then I might pull a powder foundation later. Okay, for this next drawer, I have a couple items that I want to put, or put back. This first one is a NYX eyeliner in the shade, I think it's like emerald something? No, tropical green, totally wrong. And this one's a beautiful eyeliner. I actually really enjoy wearing this on days where I don't really wear much eye makeup and I can just kind of throw this on my like top, not my waterline, but above my lash line and tight line with it a little bit and it, it wear like a my blush on my eyes as eyeshadow and this is just such a nice color to complement those peachy tones. So I definitely feel like I really like this product and enjoy it, but I'm gonna switch it out and try a different color. This one is a more blue color from NYX and this is in the shade and this is in the shade Sunrise Blue, but it's definitely not a shade that I pull for as much, but I feel like I need to try it out. I need to kind of give it an evaluation and see how I feel about it, see if it's something that I can make work. But for now, we'll pull this. Last month, I had pulled my Stila Glitter. I am working on another Stila Glitter in my Partners in Cream project pan, but I'm going to put this one back. I don't know how much life this one has left. This one used to be more white, and now it's turning silver on me. I don't know if that's because I've like gotten other shadows mixed in with it or what, but it is a gorgeous shade, but I don't, I, I, I need a break from it for a minute. So I want to use, yes, this one. This one is a pinky color. I'm trying to pan a shade in my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm trying to pan the shade Love Letter, which is that really deep pink color, that berry pink, and I think this would look so good with it. So this is a beautiful kind of rose gold kind of color. So I'm going, hopefully that's not too out of focus for you. I apologize. Um, the, the light here, just trying to film in natural light here sometimes is a pain in the butt, but this is the one that I want to pull for this month. Last month I had three little single shadows pulled and the first one here is Frog from Colourpop. I'm going to put this back even though she's gorgeous. Um, beautiful like pink iridescent kind of thing with like blue and pink glitters. Really soft delicate shadow. It's really pretty. But nice ch like chunky glitter top coat kind of thing. I really love that but I'm going to put that back. A couple other shades that I pulled last month were from Marc Jacobs. These were newer to me. I got them in like December and when I was home and I found them at TJ Maxx and I freaking love these shades. This is Topaz Flash, I think it's what it's called. Yeah, this is Topaz Flash and can we just take a moment for that? That is gorgeous. You don't need a lot. I always feel like I dig my finger in way too much, but I really enjoyed that in February, especially because I I'm, I'm love to wear like pinky tones and glitters. And then this is the shade that I like to pair with it. Um, also another Marc Jacobs shade. And this is the sequin shade, or not sequin, this is the Omega shade in Oh Mercy. And this is gorgeous. Like I got a little glitter from my other swatch, but this is like a kind of bricky red kind of color. And I just think they, they pair so well together. I really love those. All right, so for the month of March, I'm kind of still, my heart is a little bit still in February, and I want to pull another pink shadow. This is the shade Twitter Painted from ColourPop, and 
This is a little bit, she feels like she's drying out a little, so I kind of want to get a, a little bit of a feel for if I can restore her or not, but it's another beautiful like rose gold shade. And then I also want to pull green because we are going into March and St. Patrick's Day, and this is the shade Cusp. This is a really blue-based green from ColourPop, and I always am so intimidated by this color. I love it, but at the same time, I find it difficult to wear. Um, it is a little bit more sheer, so you kind of have to, it works better if you like build it up like tapping wise, but it is a beautiful color and I want to give it a little bit of love this month. Okay, I don't need mascaras, but and I don't know for sure if I want to wear a powder foundation, so I think what I'll do is leave that there for now and if I feel like I want it later, I can always pull it out. So we're done with this drawer. Okay, and last drawer, maybe the most exciting, eyeshadow palettes. I have a couple that I want to put back. I did enjoy playing around with both of these. This is the Marvelous Mods palette, a beautiful, beautiful mod palette, and I really did enjoy wearing this in February. Um, it hit the spot for sure. And I want to trade it out for another little palette. I've been playing with my big Lila palette for the entire like first couple months here, and I'm going to play with it one more month, but I want to see how I like it paired with this. I haven't actually played with these two, the mini and the large one, together yet, so I mean, I'm I love some of these shades. I'm doing really light swatches here, so don't judge. But I, I think it'll be fun to kind of play with this a little bit. Another palette that I'm putting back is my Sultry palette. And again, I really enjoy this palette. Beautiful. I played with pretty much all these tones um, definitely in February. And yeah, I'm, I, I think that this one can also go back for now. So in the place of Sultry, I kind of want to pull this guy. This is my Pure Grinch palette, and the main reason why I want to pull this is because it has this glitter here, and it's the perfect like glitter for, like, um, oh my goodness, I just said the holiday, and now it's out of my brain, for St. Patrick's Day. So let me swatch this for you. This is so beautiful, and I'm such a sucker for glitter. I'm like a raccoon, but this is definitely one that I want to use a couple times, hopefully, in, in the month at the very least, and maybe even for some, or like make myself play with some other of the shades in here, because they really are beautiful, and I don't give them enough love. Plus, there's a blush in here, there's a highlight in here. I need to play around with all of that. Okay, lip products. I played with a ton of lip products. I did end up pulling out this Buxom liner to go with my Buxom Dolly. This is Dolly Danger. Yes, Dolly Danger, and this is Dolly. They pair so well together. I really love those products, but Dolly can go back, so I definitely feel like I got a, a good bit of use out of it. And then I played with these two here. This is Stila in Baca, and it's a berry, like a deep berry color. It's really beautiful. I have a hard time feeling comfortable in shades like this, but I do really like them when I do wear them. It's just something that I don't wear often. So I did try this glitter shade over the top, and I don't know, when I see it, swatched i love it but on me i always question like if i'm comfortable enough it's usually something i just wear around the house i think basically but i'm gonna put that back these two here i did wear very cherry another really great i'm swatching them for you now since i didn't in the last video because i didn't have Bo's help thank you Bo. and so here is very cherry i really do love this shade and it was beautiful so i'm gonna put this back for now and i think i'm gonna switch it out for another red i know i know what's the point but this one is the Red Rose from the Beauty and the Beast collection that they did with Lorac. And this one is very similar, but I think it's got a little bit more pink in the undertone. And I don't, I feel like I, I probably ignore this red the most, even though it's beautiful. So I'm just going to, I know I'm going to wear red this month, so why not make it this one? And then lastly, I had pulled this Troublemaker shade from Too Faced. And this one was one that I said in the last video that I wasn't sure if I was going to use it much and I didn't yet, but I still want to. So I think I'm gonna leave this one in another month and then I'm gonna pull one more shade and that is this here, NYX Ombre Lip Pencil. The pencil part is broken so I don't really use it. I have another purple lip liner that I use and I'm gonna use this one, I'm gonna swatch it over here. But this is kind of a pastel-y purple and right now I am so drawn to pastels so I really want to play with this as we start to move into, spring starts in March, right? Right, I think so, yes. So I wanna definitely play with this in the month of March. Okay, this is everything that we have pulled to use in the month of March. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you're putting in your makeup basket this month and I will see you in the next one.